collection. <laughs> um, so basically, I keep my cards inside the closet of my tarot room. So this is my tarot room. You guys have seen it many times. And the closet space, I took out the closet doors so that I could um, just have easy access to the decks <clears throat> without having to... Um, you know, open the door and it only opens halfway. And <laughs> so I just find it easier to take the doors off. Um, if we have guests over for, you know, like the full weekend or something, then I'll usually put the doors back on. But I have a lock on my door, which was another reason why I wanted this room. Um, and there's only one key and I have the key. So <laughs> if all else fails, I just lock the door. Um, okay, so... Um, Basically, I don't have a set, like a special way of how I do my decks, except everything that is tarot is on the top. Everything that is oracle is on the bottom. And then I have two baskets of deck bags and they're mixed. So there's like oracle and tarot in the deck bags. Usually they're in better condition, <laughs> like I have them more organized, but um, I just kind of throw them in there. These are the decks that I do not have the boxes for, and I regret it because I went through a phase where I was utilizing deck bags more so than the boxes, and I regret it. So <laughs> for the most part now, I save all of the boxes. Um, so yeah, I don't really have any set system. They're not in alphabetical order. If anything, it's like I just try to stack them by size so like I have my larger boxed ones kind of stacked up like that and I'm running out of room I'm getting to the point now where <laughs> I'm gonna have to start doubling so I have some on display um, but I'm getting to the point where I'm probably gonna have to start adding you know what I mean like another pile a second layer um, because I'm getting too too close to the top there um, a lot of my decks that are spooky, I have them in a tub there. So, um, yeah. <laughs> but I don't really have any specific way of doing anything. I want to reorganize and just, uh, sometimes I just want to go through the whole thing and reorganize and just see how I can do it better. But I like to be able to see, for the most part, what deck it is based on the side of the box. The oracles are a little bit easier for me to <laughs> to stack because um, most of the boxes for oracle decks are like the same. So, yeah. And then I have like my oracle of oddities. I have the boxes for them, but I don't have the decks inside of them because I have them all together in a bag. And then I have like my smaller decks and playing cards and all of that. So... My little oddballs are in the, <laughs> on the side. Um, but yeah, so I am running out of room, as you can see. So I, I'm going to have to do another layer. Um, and then probably also go through to the side. So I don't go all the way to the sides. I have a basket here of like empty deck bags and just stuff. Um, and then I have like li my little stuffed animals. And, and um, you know, so I could go all the way to the side. But I guess like I have them centered so that I could see them from the closet you know what I mean like see them from the room like that <laughs> but I am like I said I'm running out of space I'm getting my collections growing forever growing so I'll probably end up utilizing the bottom shelf but for now it works so yeah um I, I don't know, maybe one day, like, I can do a video where, like, I show you guys what decks I have, but that's a lot. <laughs> and that's a lot. I also keep an ongoing list. So let me park this. Sorry, guys. Ugh. I found a little bag of old photos. Okay. Um... <laughs> my husband he loves energy drinks and he's like drink the rest of it so it's like like less than half in there and I'm like I'm gonna be bouncing off the walls doing my readings but okay 
<laughs> so anyways, um, so I have my business book here for Cackling Moon and I keep a list. I don't know if you guys do this, but I keep a list of the, the decks I have in my collection and some of them I have since scratched off because maybe it was a deck I sold or I rehomed to a friend um, or a deck I traded or whatever. So some of them are there. They're crossed off. But yeah, so this is a whole list front and back of my tarot decks that I own. I'm sure I could probably like type it all out, but <laughs> I'm not uh, I'm not like a techie. I just don't do that. I like to handwrite. And then my Oracle decks. Now, I think I own more Oracle than I do Tarot, to be honest with you guys, because I'm already towards the bottom of the second page. Well, actually, I guess it's kind of almost even. So yeah, the last, um, the last Oracle deck I have purchased is the Arthur Rackham Oracle. And the last Tarot I have purchased is the Tattoo Tarot. <laughs> so yeah, so I keep this in my um in my little business book. And that's where I every single time I buy a deck, I will add it to the book. Um this way I'll know what I have in my collection. So yeah. <laughs> so that's that. Um okay, so that is a little tour of my deck. Hi guys. Okay, so that is um, the little tour of my decks. Thank you for guys for watching. I'm just gonna be sipping here, sipping my energy drink that I shouldn't be drinking, but I'm just gonna finish it because it tastes good. Literally, there's like that much left. My husband drank the rest. Well, he didn't drink the rest of it. He poured it in his to-go cup, so he's driving six hours back to the academy, and it keeps him awake. So anyways, he didn't wanna drink the whole can, and um, yeah. My hair is crazy today. This is natural hair day. <laughs> Actually, it's because my, my in-laws called us at like 7.30 this morning and we're like, we're almost up the hill. Um, are we still meeting for breakfast? And I'm like, shouldn't they have done that before they left the house? <laughs> my husband is, he wasn't, he was like, oh my God. So, <laughs> so literally like I had to jump out of bed and I, I, I was like, I'm sorry, but I need a shower. My hair was so greasy. Like there was just no way that I could do another day and have breakfast with my in-laws with greasy hair. Like I'm just really, I get really um, insecure about my hair when it's really greasy. And I have naturally just really oily skin, oily hair. And um, <laughs> I just couldn't do it. So I was like, I promise you it will be the fastest shower ever. Cause my husband's like, babe, it's gonna take you forever to get ready. And I'm like, no, promise, I promise. So I literally jumped in the shower I shaved like the knee down on my legs. Usually I go all the way up to the thighs. So I just shave the knees down. So when I wear shorts, I'm comfortable. Um, I, I just like put the shampoo in my hair. I let it sit while I put body wash over the rest of my body. And then I came out of the shower. I had my hair up in a towel so it could start to towel dry while I like just put on some basic eyebrow and literally like mascara and that was it. And then I took the towel out of my hair, <laughs> gave it a quick brush through, and we were out the door. He was like, he was, you got done in like less than half an hour. And I'm like, that's me literally like just hustling it. Usually it takes me about an hour to get ready if I'm really taking my time and doing a full face of makeup and all that. But I can get ready in a pinch. So today's natural hair day because of that. So <laughs> this is like, this is what my hair looks like naturally when it dries from the sun, the heat, the, the summer sun. So yeah. <laughs> um, I feel like I'm sitting up a little bit higher because I'm sitting on like a one of those little chair pad things. Like one of these, my husband bought one for my, for my booty. See how much lower I am now? <laughs> but I feel, I feel like I'm too high up. So um, after we had breakfast with my in-laws, we went to Walmart and um, I don't usually shop at Walmart as much. I used to, I used to go all the time. I'm more of a Target person, but um, when I went to I wanted to go to Walmart specifically because Walmart has my favorite jeggings, like the pants that I wear to work, the the pants that I'm always in, like like I'll wear I have jeans, but I'm not like a 
like a, a Levi's kind of a girl. I mean, I like to be comfortable when I wear pants, so I'm more of like a stretchy fake denim kind of a person or a jegging. <laughs> so Walmart has my favorite jeggings. I should, should have brought them to show you, but they're still hang drying. I like to hang dry them when they're like brand new because I feel like I'm, I'm always afraid of like shrinking my clothes before I even get to wear them. Um, <laughs> so I wash them and then I'm, I'm letting them hang dry so that they'll be ready to go for Tuesday when I go back to work. And then I bought this shirt from Walmart. They Walmart has like those cheap like $5 shirts. So these are seven bucks. They're like a dollar or two more because they're plus size sizes. So of course, because we're, oh, there's a little bit more to us. We have to spend a little bit more money, I guess, on our clothes. Like how, how sad, how sad is that? <laughs> so anyway, um, Walmart has these shirts and they're really stretchy and really like light and comfortable and they fit so good. Like I feel like they just, they fit so nice. They, there's not like a, there's not a low neck so I don't have my boobies popping out everywhere. I can wear them to work and I just feel really comfortable. So, <laughs> and I saw this one with the stripes and this one reminded me of like a little kid or like, like. 90s rose you know <laughs> so like the stripes were so in back in like when I was in middle school and um and there is still in I, I like stripes but I just feel like the way this one looks it just to me it looks like a little kid shirt or like the 90s <laughs> but I was like oh this is cute I like the colors together it's kind of fall looking and so I bought this one. I bought a black shirt because you always need a black shirt like black goes with everything and I like to wear like a plain black tee with a pair of leggings or jeggings I mean and like one of my floral kimonos it's like my outfit <laughs> so um, I bought a black one same shirt black one and a um, uh, a teal color which I love the way teal looks I like the way teal looks on me I think it looks pretty with my dark hair so ooh, excuse me so yeah um, I bought some shirts <gasps> Oh, and Walmart also has their crew neck sweatshirts. And they're not like sweatshirt sweatshirts, they're like thin material sweatshirts. So you can wear them like just like as a throw over. And I like to do that when I'm at work. Or like if I'm just sitting around the house as a throw and like just to put it over. And it's just something to kind of like keep you semi warm, but it's not really like meant to be warm warm like a sweatshirt sweatshirt. And it's crew neck, so it's there's no hood to it, and it's just you know crew neck. So I bought one of those. My husband, my husband left me alone for like ten minutes in Walmart, while he went and got I don't know what he did. And I was like, he came back and he's just looking at me like, really? <laughs> he goes, are you gonna want to try all those on? Oh, excuse me, I have the burps now because of this. I think it's because of this. Um, so he was like really like are you gonna want to try all that on and I'm like no I know my sizes like I know my sizes I'm good so <laughs> so I bought two pairs of the jeggings because every plus size girl knows you get the little chub rub when you're walking and you're in you know, your thighs like to constantly be moving on together and so I have the chub rub thigh issue and of course you know when you're wearing like the jeggings over and over again you're gonna you're bound to wear it out and so I always wear out my pants like they don't rip anywhere else it's just always the thigh area like the inner thigh <laughs> so eventually they wear out because it's just it's cheapy jegging material and um and so I bought two pairs to make sure it will last me at least towards like the beginning of pure like winter so I'll be good um, and they're like not light light wash blue. They're like more of a darker wash not super dark But they're like like right in between like denim color So I really like that because I feel like it just goes with everything and they're so comfortable So, um, yeah, so I bought two pairs of those I bought the three shirts and then I bought a hoodie not a hoodie the crew neck pullover sweatshirt in like a dark charcoal gray and I think now that I have that, I can actually throw out my old one from Old Navy that is like kind of a little too snug on me now. <laughs> so I could probably just throw that one away and because now I have one to replace it. Like I'm that kind of person when I'm shopping for clothes. If I have a staple piece for me that I absolutely love, I before I throw it out, I have to have a replacement. So 
<laughs> that's what I do. Um, so yeah, I, I enjoyed my Walmart trip. And then after once we left, I was like, oh shit, I forgot to get dry shampoo and my heartburn pills. So the whole point of being there, I forgot. So, <laughs> so now I get to go tomorrow to pick it up because Lord knows I need my heartburn pills. Um, I was going to make spaghetti for dinner tonight for myself. And I was like, uh, I don't think I should do that because that's probably going to give me heartburn and I don't have any more pills. I like ran out. So, um, and Tums, Tums would help, but I'm not supposed to eat like the red sauce in anything. Cause that just is an automatic heartburn for me. Um, so I always try to eat like with the white sauce on my pizzas and stuff, but my hubby likes the red sauce. So I always just give in but I'm not gonna do spaghetti tonight. I think I'm just gonna make an omelet, like an egg omelet with some toast, breakfast for dinner. Like, I love omelets, so why not? <laughs> so I think I'll just do that so I don't have to go run to the market until tomorrow. And so since I'm gonna go to Walmart, I figured I can do my Walmart shopping and my market shopping together because that Walmart is one of those like big ones where it has both, so. <sighs> It makes it easier I don't like going to Walmart because like it's just sometimes it's just too much like it's such a big store it's so overwhelming but I think I can handle it it'll get me out of the house tomorrow um, and I have a list so I think I'll be safe because I already splurged today on my sh my shirts and stuff so I think I'll be safe like I'm not gonna go crazy and buy stuff so yeah so that's what's tomorrow gonna be <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow <laughs> Um, but yeah, other than that, you guys, it's been a really good weekend. Um, I called off work on Saturday and I, I felt guilty doing it, but then I didn't feel guilty because my husband's home and I want to be with him. Like I want to spend time with him. He's coming home this, this next weekend, but he has to do a ride along for his job. So he's going to be doing a ride along swing shift hours, which is like literally all day, the middle, like just the middle of the day. <laughs> So I'm going to see him in the morning and then he takes off. He's going to do his swing shift and then he gets home probably around 10, 10 o'clock at night. So you could see why we're not going to have any time. And then, um, so I'll be home cause I don't work this weekend, this coming weekend. Um, and then he's catching a plane back up to the Academy Sunday. So that means I have pretty much all of Sunday with him. So it's, it'll work out, but um, but then the next two weekends after that, I work, um, working the next two, the, the two weekends, those two Saturdays, I had to switch with my lovely coworker, um, so that I could have the Saturday of the first week of October off because that's his graduation weekend. So, <laughs> and I told him, I told, I pretty much told my husband, I have to work the last two Saturdays of September. So if you want to stay up there and don't come home it's okay with me. I'm good. I'm not going to be home anyway, but if you come home, I'll just see you in the evening. <laughs> so he's thinking of probably just staying up there, um, and say to save on like the gas and just so he can just focus and whatever. So I told him whatever you want to do, it's up to you. Um, so yeah, that's that. Mm. This is good, but I could feel like I'm pumped. I'm pumped. <laughs> I'm going to be pumped for my readings. Um, so yeah, it was a good weekend. It was a really good weekend. I love seeing him. I love like that feel of him on me, like around me. I smell like him. Like I just miss him already because he's he left. He literally left like half an hour ago. So yeah, but it was a good weekend. It was worth it. So I don't regret it. I'll probably regret it later when my paycheck is a couple hours short because I don't know. I don't know if I have enough sick time to cover the whole six hour shift, but it was worth it because I got time with my honey. I only see him four times a month. Like, come on, people. I think anyone would would sympathize with me. <laughs> Anyways, um, so other than that, I just I'm just gonna do readings today and I have to go through. So okay. So I have a, a whole journal full of tarot spreads that I created for readings and stuff. Um, and I started a second journal of tarot spreads because, and I have to add these. These are all of my Halloween spreads that I need to add in my book. 
So because now that I'm doing my Halloween readings, I, I have to make sure I have the spread in front of me because they're not just, I don't just pull cards like I'm using a spread for most of them. So I have like my spreads here that I created and I have to fill in my Halloween ones. So I think that's what I'm going to do this afternoon once I'm done filming like a couple readings. I'm just going to do a couple today and then do the, uh, the rest of them tomorrow. And I have to film the weekly energy reading. So I'm going to do that today too. So if you follow me on Instagram, you will see it pop up. But I'll also post it here on YouTube. Um, a lot of you guys were giving me positive feedback for my video that I did with my husband. Um, which brings me to the next thing that I want to talk about. <laughs> um, so I am going to start a advice playlist. Okay, now, if you guys are familiar with YouTube, you will know that we can create playlists, <coughs> excuse me, within our channel. So if you look at the like, I don't know how to explain it, but if you look on my YouTube channel and then you look at the drop down menu, I think if you select playlist, you'll see a whole bunch of different playlists that I have. So for example, I have client readings as one playlist. I have, and most of those are unlisted now, so you'll probably only see like one or two available to see, but most of them are unlisted because I don't, I don't keep all of my readings public. They eventually all go unlisted. Um, but I have a client readings playlist. I have talk tarot with me. I have learn tarot with me. Um, I have um, a soul to soul talk. I think it's what it's called, soul to soul talk or something like that where I do like more like just like me getting those, those are pretty much the videos where I'm like crying in basically let's just put it that way <laughs> um and and so I, I want to and oh and my video diary is a the newest playlist that I added like two weeks ago because we're like on literally a little bit a little bit over two weeks of doing my video diaries and you guys you guys are enjoying it. I'm going to be doing the video diaries for the whole 30 days because that's the challenge. But um, I think after that, rather than filming every single day, if I don't, I'm just going to have it listed video diary number 31, number 32, and base it on whenever I film a video diary or a vlog, you know. I feel like everybody uses the term vlog, so I wanted to just do video diary. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so it may not be an everyday thing that I do once I complete the 30 day challenge, but the video diary will still be a thing for you guys. Um, because a lot of you guys are really enjoying it. And if you like it, then I love that you like it and I'll keep it, I'll keep it going because I like it too. It's, it's fun. Um, I feel like I have a hair on my back. <laughs> like, you know, that feeling like when something's tickling you and these shirts don't have tags which is another thing that I love about Walmart, <laughs> Walmart shirts. Um, but I feel like there's something tickling me. So sorry if I'm like all moving around. Um, and so the video diary is going to be a thing still, but it may not be an everyday thing once the 30 days is done. Um, but the next playlist that I'm going to be adding to my channel, I haven't decided what I'm going to call it yet, but I have an idea and I'm not going to say it out loud because I don't want um, to... I don't want to jinx myself and I don't want pressure. So uh, you'll see what happens when it happens. But um, I was talking to my husband and I want to have a advice playlist where you guys can submit and I'll put a whole like link, like a tab thing on my website so that you guys can submit your questions. And basically I will pick from the ones that I get. So it, I will not get to every single one. Um, but maybe like one or two a week I'll film where I answer your question or I basically it's like you're going to receive advice from me. So it's like an advice um, video. <laughs> so you're going to receive my advice, but also I'll pull cards for you too. So it's kind of like getting a free reading. Okay. Um, so which is why I'm not going to be doing all of them and why I'm only going to do like one or two a week because I'm not going to, I'm not doing all of them. And if I don't get to yours for like a month or two, that's why. So <laughs> if you need something to be read, sorry, I have the burps right now. It's totally the energy drink. <laughs> 
Um, if you need a reading done, like if you need your air question answered ASAP, then you better be booking a reading with me because there's that's the only way you're gonna get an instant reading. Not instant, but you know, like you're gonna get a reading within a week's time frame. <laughs> don't rely on the free ones or don't rely on this advice thing that I'm doing. So you know how like newspapers or magazines will have an advice column in their in their magazine or newspaper? I want my YouTube channel to have that. So basically it's gonna be an advice playlist and you guys can submit your questions or your, you know, one, whatever you want advice on. Um, and I will, you know, choose one or two for the week, film it and I'll, you know, I'll read the question. It'll, it'll be anonymous. So I will not give away who it is, who's asking. <laughs> um, and I'll give the advice and I'll also pull some cards because why would I just give advice plain, like just give advice. I have to pull cards. That's just my thing. So it's like getting a, um, getting advice on a question for yourselves and a free reading. Um, and every once in a while, I will have my husband as like a little guest guest on my video <laughs> so that he can give his perspective too. Or if you guys ask a question specifically that you want my husband to answer, so if you want like a man's perspective on it, or if you want both of our perspectives, then you can also, you know, um, you can also mention that in the, um, in the, um, I just realized I probably should have just like filmed this whole thing like as a separate thing, <sighs> but, <laughs> but, um, whatever, I'll, I'll, maybe I'll just do that. But anyways, <laughs> if you want like two perspectives, if you want mine and then his points of view on the, on the advice, then you'll have to, you know, specify it. But yeah, I, I'm definitely going to be creating that. It's going to be its own playlist. It's going to be something fun. Um, just something different to add to my channel because I really want variety with my channel and I want some fun stuff and I just want to branch out away from just tarot 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 and and I still have to add tarot as a part of it because that's what cackling moon is I'm a tarot reader but um I just I need I need more I need more with my channel I need more with the things that I do and I love giving advice and I love pulling cards and I feel like why not mix the two and offer this free thing for you guys to have a chance to have a shot at a free reading and then it's just something to look forward to every week so <laughs> I'm still working out the details like what I want to call it what day is going to be the day that I do it and all of that but um it's definitely something that I'm going to be adding into the mix so those of you who didn't watch the rest the, like this whole video in length you will probably have missed all of that so haha -ha, but <laughs> I'm probably going to go ahead and film like a second one like an update video so don't worry about it. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, um, that is going to conclude my video diary for today. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching me and my channel and leaving the comments that you leave and just supporting Cackling Moon and being a part of this journey with me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get into doing some client readings. And as always, my spooky readings are available. So if you want to book one with me, Click the link below, check out the website, book your session, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye, loves.